What you guys got another video here for you get people asking me how to download the windows 11 insider preview iso without joining the insider program it is capable of doing and i'll show you how to do it in this video it's pretty straightforward stuff but once you get this iso you can uh, install it onto a virtual machine and have a play around with all the new features just like i show you in my videos so you need to head over to uup dump and you can see here we have the dev channel and we have a bunch of other areas which we can click on here. So if you click on the dev channel, it will give you a list of ISO images which are relevant and up to date uh, for these uh, releases here. You can see this is the very latest one in the list here. You can see this is build 22567.1 and this is for 64-bit or ARM64 or whatever it is that you want to download. There's a plenty of them up there to choose from. Also, we can uh, download Windows 10 from here. You can download all of the versions of Windows uh, 10 and 11 from this site. People say, are they legit and are they coming from a reputable source? And these are being pulled from the Microsoft servers. And it's just a way of getting the latest ISOs. You can see we've got Windows 10 versions here as well, which is all the latest versions. Depending on what version you want to do, uh, you can download it from this uh, place here. So first off, click the one that you want to download. And then what you're going to need to do is choose your language. It's pretty straightforward. So choose the language that you want. And there's plenty of them to choose from. I'm going to leave that as is and click on next. Once we click on next, you can now choose the edition that you want. You can either leave all of the additions in there. But bear in mind, this will take a bit more time to create this ISO. So I'm just going to make this Windows uh, Pro. Leave that as is. And then you can click on the next button. If you want to leave all of them check marked, you can do. It will take a bit longer. Once you've got this done, you can see we've got the radio button in download and convert to ISO. I'm happy with that selection, but there is some other additional options that you can select here, like include updates. Again, this will take a lot more time to create the ISO. So I'm going to uncheck mark all of these because you can always update Windows once it's installed anyway. So I'm just going to take the check marks out of all of these here. And then what we're going to do is click on the download package here. So click download package, and this will download the package so we can uh, extract it. And then we can then create our ISO and pull it off the server here. So let's go ahead and finish this off. So now I've got the package downloaded here. You can see it's in zip format. So what I need to do is click the extract all, and it will extract it to a folder of my choice. So make sure the folder is a folder with no spaces in it and then click next and it will then uh, create a folder in here with all of the files that you need. So let's go ahead and right click on the uh, Windows uh, version here, which is the CMD version. And you've got also Mac OS and you've also got Linux here. So depending on which one you wanna use it on. So I'm gonna do the Windows version cause I'm on Windows. Right click and run as administrator. This will then open up a blue box here, which will say Windows is protecting your PC. Now, because this is registered as unknown publisher, it's flagging it. So I'm going to run this anyway because it is safe to use. And then we've now got a little prompt window popping up and it will go off and pull all the files that it needs uh, and download these. You can see it's downloading them all. And then it will basically uh, put these into an ISO file. And uh, once we get this, we can then use this file to either create a bootable USB flash drive, or we can literally uh, use this to create uh, a virtual machine and install it on a virtual machine. It does take a bit of time to create all this. You can see it's uh, creating the boot.wim here. And once this is all done, you should see it starting to uh, create the ISO file. And the ISO file will be that long name you see at the bottom here. I'll just highlight this so you can see it. And that's the file it's creating right now. And once that's completed, it will ask you to press zero to exit out of the program. Once you exit out, you can then go back to that folder and your ISO file will be in the folder which we unpacked earlier, which is the UUP folder. So let's go ahead and push zero to exit out of this prompt window so we can go and see our ISO file. Now remember, this ISO image is only for testing purposes only because it's a very early release and it will have loads of bugs and other issues with it. So it's for testing purposes only. I can't stress that enough. Do not install this on your main system as your main operating system because you will end up having issues. You can see here 
This is the ISO file that you can use for virtual machines, VirtualBox, or whether it be VMware. We can install it on there and have a look at all the new features that are coming out on Windows 11. So that's basically how you can use that. Very quick and easy to do. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. A real quick video today, guys. I've been ultra busy and hopefully I can resume back to normal videos uh, tomorrow. So thanks again. Bye for now.